When you think of Greek food, many of us uh, think of, you know, that beef and lamb mixture rotating on a spit. You know, Americans have a very clear idea as to what a Greek gyro is. So what if we're wrong that maybe it's not so Greek? A Minnesotan wants to change the way you think of it. To Russia eats at the Naughty Greek. So it's layer by layer is the way that these are get, they get stacked. The way Angelo Giovannis tells it. Actually, my parents own restaurants in Greece, right? So I left, I was grown up in the business. We're eating gyros in Minnesota and America all wrong. I'm living here for 19 years, I have never eaten a real gyro. And what I mean by that is the way that we have been grown up in Greece. That's why after a successful corporate biomed career, Angelo opened the Naughty Greek on Snelling in St. Paul. Now, there's been a little naughtiness in, in the past, but that doesn't matter. That does, that's not really what it represents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Angelo says making a real gyro doesn't involve lamb and beef. It takes chicken and pork and a fair amount of time. This is a slice by slice built one on top of each other. Each slice of pork is five centimeters thin. There's some belly, some shoulder. Yes, the shoulder is meatier, and that's where the actual meat comes in. Yeah. The belly is bacon, in a way, right? Yeah. It's pork belly. It's the most expensive part of the pork. The chicken is an entire bird, deboned and flattened. So you get dark meat, white meat, all seasoned and then caramelized on that spit. Gyro in Greek means round, right? So it's round and round and round. The first spot so successful, Angelo just opened a second near the light rail in St. Paul. I've never worked harder in my entire life, right? So from that perspective, it's just been exhausting. But the payoff is in the pita. Nutmeg and oregano notes in the pork, curry and coriander in the chicken. It's so flavorful, right? so oh, much yeah. flavor. Yeah. The authentic obsession extends to every corner of the menu. Feta and olive oil imported from Greece for the Greek salad. The eggplant spread is roasted with red peppers, but it's all about that gyro. It's, it's beautiful. It's fantastic. A naughty revelation. This is home. You get the Greeks that live here, that have been living in Greece, or that have, they come to me and they say, finally, we're actually having a real gyro. And thank you for that. Pretty fun. You know, it is very different from the traditional idea of what a, a euro is here in America. Mm -hmm. And I love that euro too, right? Like I right. think there's room for all of it. And I've, I've made, the traditional euro of course is a, a beef lamb combination. Mm -hmm. And when you see it, it's almost like a meatloaf. And so yeah. they, there are only a couple suppliers of it around the country. And so everybody has kind of the same thing. So this is different. It's Minnesota uh, pork, it's local chicken. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I think the biggest takeaway we had, you always see those rotating spits. I didn't know didn't that they know layered the meat the like that meat through it. And stretched it out. Yeah, it, take, it takes about an hour and a half for them to build one of those things. And so then how long will that last them? Uh, I think he said they do like, it, it depends on the location and how much volume they do, but mm -hmm. they'll go through maybe three of them a day. Wow. I just so. love the french fries and the euro. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah. More french yeah. fries on everything. Yeah. <laughs>